master library of all of my DVDs. On the bottom, I don't know, I don't know, you probably cannot can't see it as clearly, but on the bottom here, uh, this tells you I have 494 um, DVDs. Zero or borrowed. I don't want any right now because I really didn't do that. This tells you the value of all my DVDs. Of all my DVDs alone, besides box sets, my value is seven thousand nine hundred fifty-two dollars. And then next to it's thirty-seven point five nine. That's how many days it would take me to view all of the movies that I have. That's it's just great tools that just added. It's the little things that really can count for them. Let's look up here on the title screen. All right, let's get into one of the probably the coolest thing about um, this program, uh, which uh, consolidates time, which makes everything a lot, a lot easier. Um, and and I really thank anybody with for this program. Again, you can type in on your search menu. You can type in uh, the UPC code. You can type in an actor, the name. If you do it again, if you have the movie, um, you can just do it that easily, and it'll be that simple to do. Um, what I'm going to do now is show you probably the coolest part of uh, this of of DVDpedia, which is the eyesight. Now. Uh, Usually, this is this is going to be your DVD. Right now, I just picked up this one. This is Beverly Hills Ninja. On the back is what you're really focused on. The back here, you have your your ISPN number, which you don't need. You need your UPC code. Now, your UPC code is what you're going to need to type in. So, if I want to type in my UPC code on here, which is see see how I'm typing all this, and I have to nine six zero oh, three nine five zero oh, six. Press enter, and of course, the movie that matches the UPC, which is Beverly Hills Ninja, is going to come up. Um, now, I'll show you more about what's on this screen that they show you, but first, I want to show you the eyesight. Uh, adding movie, and you press the eyesight. This right here is fantastic. It is exactly what it what what it looks like. It's a barcode scanner. Um, all I have to do is take the back of my DVD disc here that I have, take a look at my UPC code over here, put the UPC code up to the webcam, and scan it. See how quick that was? It scanned right like that, and immediately, and it will pop right up. And it's it's really incredible. It makes it makes it a lot easier to put your DVDs in the library and everything like that. Uh, it's already added, so I don't have to edit. But now let me show you what's on this here: director, writer, producer, the studio it came from, the genre of it, what it's rated, the duration, how long it is, the theatrical release when it was released in the movies, and the release of it in on DVD. Uh, it's got starring Chris Farley, Nicola Sheridan, everybody on there. The rating that it's given uh, um, among a lot of the users only has 49 votes, has 3.5. The price of it, which which is usually a little bit over overdone, they usually do overdo the price, which I don't understand. Subtitles, uh, you there's you're usually not going to get awards filled in, but this is something that you can do separately. That you know, a part of your hobby, you want to put the awards in. Obviously, Beverly Hills Ninja isn't winning any uh, Oscars, but comments that you want to put uh, put, and then of course a summary that already comes with it. Uh, about the movie. So you're going to click add and that's going to be added to your inventory. Again, this is the eyesight. It's it's the coolest thing that I've ever seen in my life. We're just taking this UPC and putting it right against your Mac eyesight and there it is. It's just scanned and it's fantastic. It makes everything a lot simpler. Now, I did that all already and I and I did that. So this is my library that I that I made of all these different views. You have the the list view, then you have uh, the title view. This is going to be all of my movies uh, right like this in a title view. So I can view all of them and see, you know, which ones I have, which ones, maybe I want to watch this, maybe I want to watch that. So I'm not going all over my room looking for which one to watch. Then, of course, there's the very famous list, like, as you would see your albums on, on your iPod, uh, on your iPod Touch or, or anything like that. It's, of course, this list view, which shows you each title. You can go back and forth between each one and really just take a look at, at what you got. Now we'll look at the info thing on the bottom as we're going along along the top here info thing over there here's your full screen view taking a look at what you want to what you want to use over here and then of course we have export this is this is the coolest thing uh, if you're a real movie buff and a movie lover like uh, like you know you really just care for movies a lot this is what you're gonna be I don't think we want to be seeing that I own Miss Congeniality too so we'll go to a very manly movie there we go 1408 um, you just now this is gonna show up with all of these and you press statistics. Now, this looks like a lot of stuff on here, but it's actually very, very simple. Uh, I would zoom in, but I don't think you're going to be able to really see what, I, what it says. Statistics is everything. Directors, actors, credits, writer, producer, genres, studio, region, my ratings, rated, what it's rated, 
uh, the theatrical release year, the DVD release year, all sorted and all uh, all just with graphs and everything. So as you can see, it's very, very basic. When you put in the movie, um, sometimes you're not you, the movie's not going to read with all the directors and the actors. So sometimes you want to go on IMDb and you want to put that in yourself. You want to make sure that everything you got is, is perfect. Uh, but this is what I basically have set up. I haven't fixed it all yet, so there might be, you know, there might be some differences to the 494 that I have. But take a look at this. Uh, obviously, I'm a big Steven Spielberg fan. Ten, ten movies that I have are directed by Steven Spielberg. Six Michael Bay, six Martin Scorsese, and it goes on and on and on and on and on. And, I mean, this list goes on forever. Obviously, it's, it does all of your movies and, and whoever you have from there. Um, then we have actors. I have 12 Will Farrell acting movies. I have 11 Tom Cruises, 9 Tom Hanks, 11 Matt Damons. And this, of course, goes on and on. All your actors, all your actresses are all in that. Um, so that just keeps on going on and on. And media languages with subtitles it comes into. Uh, everything like that. And it's, it's really, really, really cool. Um, and let's click on one of these. If I click on Will Farrell, I'm going to get all of the movies that he was in. Anchorman, all the movies that he was in that I own. Anchorman, that's that's your program. Uh, again, you know, you have that list view of everything. And you can search right on the top over here. You can search uh, any movie that you have. Let's say I typed in T-A-L, Talladega Nights. You know, you can find Talladega Nights. You can find whatever you want. This, the program, after you put in, you can obviously test the program. After you put in 25 entries, um, you're going to have to buy the program. They only accept up to 25 entries. So test it. And that's it. I hope you guys enjoy. Thank you for watching.